Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to do a review and demo on the Dior Nude Air Skin Foundation. Um, so far the only thing that I've got on right now is an under eye corrector by Pixi. It's in Brightening Peach. And I'm going to show you what I like to do. I have two different brushes I want to use on half my side of my face. Half the side of my face. Um, I'm going to use the flat kabuki brush. Go ahead and get that started. I like to do start off with one drop. We'll do a half. And my boys are up, so you are gonna hear them. They're beside me eating their breakfast. Oh yeah, because it is 8:26 in the morning. So you can see with the flat top kabuki, it helps spread it. It's helping give a nice um even layer a little hard to blend in with the flat top kabuki Mommy. Yeah, baby. alrighty I do have it on this half of my face using the Sigma Air 80 kabuki brush the flat top kabuki and now I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side of my face you can see that there's still some redness poking through. Um, I still have a, a blemish that is poking through as well. But we're gonna do one drop here. I have a, ah, a little drop there. <laughs> and then kind of what's remaining there. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to buff all that into the skin and you can already see that um, using the real techniques is helping it um, go, go a little farther I would say Alright guys, this is what we got going on so far. A baby. This is Moses. He's 17 months. And um, this side of my face, I use the Real Techniques brush. This side of my face, I use the Sigma F80. You can see there's a bit more redness poking through back here. Um, I still got a bit over here, but it's definitely more prominent on this side. Um, and what I like to do, because I find that I like to add an extra drop of coverage anyway, is I'm going to do that now. So especially where I'm feeling the redness, got it on my shirt, lovely, I'm sure that wasn't the full drop then. Alrighty. And I'm going to buff that extra so you can see that this is a buildable foundation if you're wanting that a little extra, but we already saw that kind of medium coverage it gives where it's just not, it's not covering quite everything. But it was covering quite a bit. You, you definitely saw all the redness on my face before. I find it's a little harder to blend evenly into the skin um, with the Sigma brush. But it still can get the job done. Alrighty, let's make sure this side of our face is good. And now I'm going to add another drop onto this side of my face. I'm actually going to add even just a little bit more because I had spilled some. So graceful. And then with the expert face brush to blend the rest of that in. You can see when I'm spreading it around that even though this is a very watery foundation, there's so much pigment to it. <laughs> And I feel like I like this method the most because um, it really just buffs it into the skin. Gives you really nice coverage with it. Alrighty, here's the full face that we've got so far. This is Real Techniques. This is Sigma F80. This is where we're at. Um, this is a total of two drops on the cheek, about a half drop on each side of the forehead, equivalent to a whole drop, obviously, um, about a whole drop onto the nose, and then, you know, kind of the remaining is what's being thrown onto my chin. Um, the 
this is Real Techniques. You can see I do have the slightest bit of redness poking through, but it's you know mainly in my cheek area where I am super, super red. There's a lot of the red pigmentation there. And then on this side, you can definitely see a bit more of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and um, I will check back in with you guys about four o'clock-ish once I send my husband off to work. I've got class um, and I'm gonna hang out with my kids today. So um, I will be back then, guys. I did wanna mention real fast, now that I don't have a baby in my lap, um, you can see that I definitely have some nice luminosity to the skin. Um, it doesn't look tired at all. If you're oily at this point, you might wanna set, you know, whatever, um, with a powder. I'm very dry skinned. Today my skin is feeling very on the normal side. I feel like the new skincare that I've got has really been helping it. And um, I did want to show, there's a bit of my freckles poking through, even on the place where I did two drops. Um, but this is kind of what we got going on. I do have that bad boy down there that's not being covered. Let's go ahead and just, um, Add a little extra to the chin to see what kind of buildability we're getting. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques because I even notice now that the redness is getting covered more through that, with that method. I'm not really one to put concealer all over my face, so this is seeing if I have a buildable foundation is better for me. The only place I really like to put concealer is for like a highlighting effect for under the eyes and around, you know, I'm feeling like Kim Kardashian. Oh, don't want to, um, let's see, helped a little bit, not a ton. Um, this is what we're working with. So I will be back in, a, in four o'clock, whatever. Bye guys. Hey guys, I am back. It is now four. Eh? Where is it? It's four o'clock now. Um, I've had this makeup on for seven and a half, eight hours in that time frame. Um, what we've got going on so far is we have a pretty equal fading um, throughout my nose. I do rub my nose a lot. My son does kind of like touch my face a lot, like on my nose. Um, this is the expert face brush side. You can see I definitely have redness starting to poke through, um, but this is after eight hours of wear. Um, and then I have even more redness poking through on the Sigma F80 side. And then on my chin, I was sitting kind of like this in class for two hours. So it's to be expected. I'm sure if you set it with a powder, um, that's not gonna be as much. Um, I have not touched up at all. And the areas of my face where I don't, like, I'm not going like this and this, like, I'm not touching a lot, aka my forehead, you can see that the foundation's holding up really, really nicely. Um, under the eyes, it's holding up nicely. So far, I mean, eight hours, if you set it with a powder, I'm sure it's going to last longer. If you use a setting spray, um, certain types of primers might help with the longevity of it, although most primers don't, but whatever, that's a different discussion. So this is what we got going on right now, and I will be back um, probably in about four more hours, three more hours, and I will show you the final results after what a really, really full day of wearing this foundation looks like. So, bye guys. Alrighty guys, here we are in at the final checkup. It is 8.19, meaning I've been wearing this foundation for around 12 hours at this point. I just want to show you that I've had more wearing off in my forehead, um, not much more in my cheeks, nose, or chin area. I think a lot more of that had to do with the actual rubbing on my face. We still have nothing really settling into pores. Really the biggest issue is just my redness pulling through. Um, I'm looking a little bit dewy because in the past two hours, I've taken my kids on a walk, I've scrubbed my kitchen like top to bottom, given them a bath, got them in their pajamas, made them a snack because Lord knows those children have to eat right before bed. So obviously I'm a little bit sweaty because I'm pregnant. So um, there is that. My final thoughts on this bad boy. Um, I think that it is a really, really great lightweight, medium to full coverage foundation. 
That being said, I don't think that this is a, a foundation you're gonna wanna go buy right now. I think that this foundation, if you're still interested in it, come the cooling down of summer, come fall time, it's gonna be a lot better. I find that it, the serum foundations that have become really popular right now are really susceptible to wearing off when you touch them. Um, I think that that can be helped if you wear a powder. And if you are someone who religiously wears a powder, even with your dry skin, um, then this could be really good for you even this summer. It can give you really nice coverage and it, it literally doesn't feel like anything on the face, which is the nicest thing about this foundation. Um, the way I like to apply it is with the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. I find that when you use um, a brush with more area, that um, it doesn't it doesn't spread it as evenly. It doesn't really buff it into the skin. It doesn't maximize the kind of coverage that you can get from it. And then I also noticed that I just I had more wearing down on that part of my face as well. So to me, you're really going to want a really dense kind of small brush, and it will really help buff it in. Um, and I mean, because it's buffed in, it'll help it stay a little bit longer. I think that if you have oily skin, that this is. <laughs> It's probably honestly not going to be the foundation for you unless you're barely oily and then you could still, you know, powder and stuff. I think that this foundation is going to be best for dry to um, combination skin. But if you have dry skin, that being said, I think that you are going to want to exfoliate because I couldn't show it in today's 12 hour wear. Um, but when my skin was a little bit dry, I had a little bit of flakiness up here and it attached to it a little bit definitely not the worst from a foundation but it did you could see some of the flakiness um, that it was really attaching to so I would make sure that you're exfoliating and moisturizing your face getting it in prime condition but I do think it's a really nice foundation unfortunately I think there are only eight shade options so the deepest shade I believe I saw was one named mocha which to me was like the lightest of the deep skin honestly there's not there's so many different, like the lighter skin tones. Um, I do mine have, I do mine have, I do have mine in the lightest shade, which is um, 010. I think it's like light ivory is the name. I'm pretty fair. I'm not the fairest out there, but I do typically wear the lightest foundation in every, every shade, every shade, lightest foundation, if that made sense at all. <laughs> um, so I do think it wore really well throughout the day. One thing that I wasn't able to show in this 12 hour wear was the fact that at around six hours was when I really started noticing um, some of the fading. Um, but it still wasn't, it, it just wasn't bad. It wasn't bad fading. Even now, this is just not the worst fading that I've ever had. I think that if you use a powder, this is gonna be something that's gonna even last you um, longer. I think it's gonna fade less. I just religiously, the only type of powder I will really wear is something under my eyes and um, a finishing powder. I don't do anything else. It just always, always is just itchy on my skin and I just can't stand it, no matter how normal it's feeling that day. So, I really hope that this review was helpful. I hope it kind of made your decision. I do recommend this. This is, for me, I hope I didn't talk, I don't think I talked highly enough about it. I really, really like it. Um, I'm a little bit glowy, but the overall finish of it is kind of that like, satin to a slight glow, which is why I don't think it'd be bad for if you have that light oily kind of skin um, and you want a little bit of like healthiness if you don't like that full matte finish that a lot, I mean a lot of oily people like that, but if you are one who doesn't maybe, um, I think that this could be a really nice splurge. I mean, it's, it, it is a really, really nice foundation. To me, it's one that I will probably be wearing over and over again. In fact, it's the only one I've worn since I bought it a week and a half ago. So I really like it. I hope this review was helpful. Um, and if it was, I'd really like for you to like it and subscribe and stick around and see what else I have coming out. My next video is actually going to be a Mac haul. Um, I did pick up some stuff from the Wash and Dry collection, although not all of it's in, which is kind of sad, but I wanted to get it up because that will be launching later this week. And um, I, I hope you're having a really good day and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. I did want to mention real fast that you can definitely see, um, oh, my cat is knocking the boxes. Stop. Oh, shoot.